Hey, welcome back. Michael Bublé is currently on a Canadian tour and was in Toronto twice this week to croon his way into ladies' hearts. And we were there to catch some pre-show action. All right, so much for crowd participation. It's just not the same in a rehearsal there, You should Michael. say that was sound yeah. check, not the actual concert, <laughs> that was right? sound check. This was him warming up the pipes during a sound check with his 13-piece band. He told us his voice was a little strained, but apparently that didn't stand in the way from putting on a great show. He impressed the throngs of guys and gals that came out to see him, and apparently even let one woman in the crowd squeeze his backside. It was Taylor K. I, I wish. <laughs> in chatting with him after, we found out some interesting stuff like this guy originally wanted a job like ours. I'm not surprised that everything lasts. I've broken my heart so many times I stopped keeping track. Yeah, I wanted to go to a BCIT and uh, actually become a print journalist. And uh, um, it's always uh, writing is something that I always was interested in. And uh, actually, after I got signed, I, I started writing for a, a magazine. And uh, I would have been a horrible print journalist. It was uh, so much harder than I could ever hope it would have been. So hold on. Taking the time to get to know myself better, to get to like myself better, and to be frank, it's made me a better family guy, and it's made me a better entertainer. I mean, I feel like I'm far more conscious when I'm up there. And if any of you guys come and see the show tonight, you'll you'll probably get it pretty quickly. I mean, I'm I'm uh, I take time to to be aware of how fortunate I am. Wherever you are, whenever it's right. I mean, I really wish everybody could get the feeling of how it feels to be up there in front of uh, that many people. It's a pretty cool thing. And the truth is, I mean, people pay good money for the tickets. They don't show up to hate you. And it feels good to be back home. I mean, I always get sentimental here because I lived here for uh, like three years and I lived at uh, Bay and Bloor for a while at the Manulife building and then I lived at Queen and McCall uh, right across from Much Music and I used to buy eggs and uh, I used to throw them at drunk people. At, at the end of those great bar nights when they wouldn't shut the hell up. Don't you ever let me. Mm, yeah. I was wondering who was throwing <laughs> those eggs at me. Man, Bublé! Uh, uh, quick, I have to show you two pictures from backstage after the concert. Check them out. So, Bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys was at the concert and made his way backstage to snap a photo wearing his classic thick rim glasses, but then the tables turned. And you have Bubbles Bublé. Very nice. <laughs> okay, shot that is that. awesome. That is amazing. <laughs> very, very cool.